go. Another one. There we go. That was a nice hit. I encourage you guys to donate to American Red Cross or any organization that's willing to help the victims of Hurricane Ida. Louisiana really relies on Texas and Texas relies on Louisiana. So let's help our neighbors. If you find it in your heart, donate a little bit, whatever you can, because a lot of those people lost their houses, lost a lot of property, some lost their lives. And with the COVID pandemic that's going on, doesn't really help with everyone losing power. I mean, it's just devastating. and. You know, if it happened here in Texas or Houston, you know, I would pray that those guys neighborly, our neighbors in Louisiana would also do the same for us. So donate if you can, find it in your heart. I encourage you guys to do it. Flounder season is right around the corner. So we're going to be using some small micro lures, bugs fishing lures specifically. We can use some paddle tail if it doesn't work, but I think the bugs going to be pretty darn good today. And uh, yeah, such a beautiful day out here. Really enjoying myself on my Hobie Outback calm winds low conditions so i'm gonna count my blessings because life is short and just really enjoy the moment so we're gonna start off here in this little this little flat that drops off a little bit we got some good tide movement i'm seeing some small shad and some crab early in the morning so i'm going to be using the bugs lure first probably the flats bug let's see here. yeah the flats bug let's see if we can target anything in this flat I'm trying to target where the baiters kind of congregated let's see if anything wants to hit my lure I kind of like to target these grass areas and these flats. That's where the predatory fish kind of migrate and hunt because that's where all the bait kind of like to congregate. There we go. That was a nice hit. Right on that grass line, as I expected. He's got a, bit, a little bit of pull on him. I don't know what, what this is. It could be a flounder. Yeah, it's a nice flounder. That's what I'm looking for, man. Right on the grass line. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. He is a keeper, people. All right, here we go. Right on that grass line, right there. That's where I got nailed, using the right lures, too. Look at that fatty right here, man. Woo, first thing in the morning, he got some, he got some shoulders on him, and we're going to keep this guy because we're going to eat some flounder today on the flats bug it's getting that time of year where flounder run is just right around the corner and they are going to nail these flats bug last season flats bug was the flounder candy i swear to you guys and look victim number one nice guy right here probably about 16 and three quarters close to 17 but those shoulders he's been eating really good we're gonna put him on the stringer and see if we catch a couple more nice hook set on the flats bug black and gold this is the 1 8 or 3 16 pounds i can't remember but like I said, I was seeing a lot of small shad and crab. I figured this lure would be pretty good and the curl tail too. I got my buddy Ben over there. He's using the curl tail. But uh, we're going to get this guy on me stringer. And we are going to take him home. Yes, sir. There we go. Whoa, wow. What was that? That was totally random. It's a red. Fishing that drop off right there. It's a small guy, but God, that was totally random, dude. <laughs> like right here, there's a drop off from like one and a half feet to three feet, as you see in my little um, computer there. And this guy was just kind of swimming right at that drop off. Kind of just took it with surprise. Wasn't really expecting to catch anything, honestly. Was debating whether I should move different spots. Well, I guess we got another fish. And look at that little golden redfish. Beautiful. Dark tail right there. Yeah, man. He's been eating really good. Really aggressive. So they are liking this flats bug today. Open wide, buddy. Give me my lure back and we'll let you go. 
So there's a redfish kind of rummaging around, and I think that's him right there, rummaging around in the shallow flats, looking for bait. It's a little bit too far from my reach, but that is pretty cool to hear and see blow up. Super, super shallow water. I'm gonna wait and see if I can see his back come out of the water because right there, it is super shallow. Right here is four feet, so it just really drops. It's a great area for them to hunt. And here's some bait moving right here. I don't think they're large redfish, to be honest with you. It's probably smaller rats. But nonetheless, they are being aggressive and they're hunting. Oh, that might be him right there. Yeah, I think that was him. He was chasing bait. Saw his back briefly. Let's see if we can intercept him. There we go. Oh, gosh, I had him. That was him. That was him. Just to show that I did have him, he took my tail right off. Oh, that was a flounder right there. <laughs> oh gosh, that was cool. That flounder went airborne. It's not easy trying to side cast these flounder after they jump. Really not easy to do. you think it would be, right? But it's just not easy. There we go. Another one. It might be a red. Felt like a flounder bite though. The way he's pulling. Yeah, another flounder. Nice flounder. I knew they were going to be here. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, yes. Oh, there was another flounder right there too. Flounder number two. Keeper number two. Probably a good 16, maybe 15 and three quarters. Look at that. Beautiful fish. I know the sun is glaring. But nonetheless, another one, victim of the flats bug, another keeper for the dinner plate. You know what I mean? Currently, there is a big movement with eating healthy, and rightfully so with the COVID-19 pandemic, people are more cautious about maintaining a well-balanced diet. So today, what I have planned is to create a poke bowl, but with a little Korean twist. It's very simple and easy to do, and it only occupies a few minutes of your time, and it's a great way to take advantage of the game fish I just caught. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and most important at all, it's good for you. So the first step now is to get your flounder. I already cleaned it up, I gutted it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fillet it into four different fillet pieces. If you do a quick YouTube search, you will soon find out that there's a bunch of new channels out there with chefs showing how to cook sustainable and organic meat, game meat, wild meat, because it's, it's a healthy way of eating, healthy way of lifestyle. So it's pretty cool that this movement is really catching on. Now that I have the flounder all filleted, here is one fillet piece. What I like to do is I like to cut it into rectangular pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it horizontally then I'm gonna cut it vertically and make small rectangular pieces so they're more like bite-sized pieces. Now that I have the fillets all cut up into nice rectangular pieces, I put it in the refrigerator to maintain the quality of the meat. So the next step is to cut the vegetables into small little pieces. And the beauty about this poke bowl is you can actually customize it any way you want. There's no set rules that you have to follow. I myself, for my personal reasons, I like red leaf lettuce, I like cucumbers, cilantro, avocado, and carrots. Once again, you can put any type of vegetable you want that you think will really enhance the flavor of that meat. So we're gonna cut these up in small pieces.
Next, you wanna get your rice and put it in a bowl. I highly advise you use white sticky Asian rice. Now we're going to put the vegetables into your bowl, then put the fresh meat in the middle and add a little sesame seed as topping and finish it off with the red sauce that you can pick up at your local Asian grocery store. I'm telling you what, man, I think this turned out really good. Look at that flavoring. Look at all the vibrant colors just in one big bowl. This is a very healthy way of eating. Like I said earlier and before, a very delicious way to really use your game fish that you caught. Flounder is one of those fishes, inshore fish that you can catch that has that great tasting meat and you can eat it raw. Mix it in a poke bowl. Without further ado, let's go and eat this. The first thing you need to do though, is you need to mix it all up because you gotta get the flavors mixing with that rice. Here comes the taste test. I got the flounder, I got some mix of vegetables with rice. Here we go. Oh God, that's delicious, man. That's so good. Plus it's so refreshing. It's cold, middle of the summer. <laughs> Man, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, one being no good, I'd give it 11. I mean, I'm serious, this thing is amazing. And as I stated before, flounder is one of those fish that people just don't really know about that you can eat raw. Asians do it all the time. As I stated before, this is a poke bowl with a Korean twist. I know you guys are gonna say, well, poke bowl, aren't you supposed to cut them up in small cubes and marinate them in like a teriyaki type Japanese sauce like the Hawaiian soup? Yes, by definition, that is a poke bowl, but Koreans have been doing it this way for many, many generations. And it's just kind of a movement that's moved into the United States to bring in this type of food to the stateside. Man, that's amazing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fishing and Catch Clean Cook. If you wanna see more of these type of videos, leave it in the description box below. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, please subscribe, guys. A lot of you guys that watch my video, my analytics tell me about 75% of you guys are not subscribed. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far, you're one of those hardcore viewers, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. But thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.